Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to more Ace Combat X. So we're going to continue forth. The emblem of the Southern Cross. It was on that very day that the aircraft bearing the mark of the Southern Hemisphere brought about the defeat of Laysath forces. But the story barely made the news, and the army showed no apparent reaction. Almost nightly, Laysath's commanding officer, Diego Gaspar Navarro, plays host to grand banquets within Gaius Tower. This evening, he is once again proudly trumpeting the glory of his airborne fortress. I've heard the speech so many times, it feels like I wrote it. Which, in a way, is a good thing, because it lets me concentrate on enjoying the food instead. As I gazed out the window at the night sky, I felt as if even the phases of the moon were somehow at odds with those of the Northern Hemisphere. The words of a fellow reporter, who fancied himself a connoisseur of fine wine, really got me thinking about the price of the glass of wine in my hand. One glass of it is roughly equivalent to several years of a Laysathian citizen's salary. Haven't the long years of civil war left Laysath an impoverished and war-torn nation? Whatever the case, much is unclear about the flow of money in Laysath. Ever since I arrived here, I've only covered stories the military had approved. However, this particular mystery just might be worth investigating on my own. The idea was nothing more than the product of an idle mind. At least at the time. The guy's a douchebag. Anyways, we're to sally forth. Okay, we're gonna get an actual, like, intro screen going here. Uh, okay, let's get started with a report of the situation. I think our best option under the circumstances would be to head towards Santa Elva. Santa Elva is a strategic location that we have to pass through to get to the capital, Griswold. However, there are several other strategic points on the way to Santa Elva. Which points you choose, and in what order you do so, is up to you. It looks like your decisions will affect the course of this battle. I know it's an immense responsibility, but there's no one else to count on. We're relying on you to get us through this. It appears that the enemy's Miller unit is gathering at Kings Hill. It looks like they're trying to take back Port Patterson. I wonder what they're up to. Next, we have reports that the Allied Davis unit is cut off at Stand Canyon. Gleipnir took off from Puna Base and is currently standing by at Terminus Island. With the long strike range of the Gleipnir, there's not much our forces can do. It appears that the enemy is moving towards Stand Canyon to eliminate our remaining forces. We'll need those remaining forces in our attack on Santa Elva, so I think we should probably send help. If left alone, uh, they'll be helpless against the aerial fortress. Just like what happened to us at Cape Aubrey. Also, Santa Elva is a key location for the enemy, and I think they'll concentrate their forces there. We'll have major problems if they send in their aerial fortress. I'll give you more details once you decide on a route. Please tell me which route you plan to take. Well, we don't need the ground forces to never do anything. <laughs> All right. So, uh, oh, I'm turn this thing on. Okay, here we go. Let's check out the hangar because I'm sure we got some new aircraft. Come on, give me a mig. What in the heck is that? XFA24A Apples. That looks made up. I don't want it. Oh, cards? Do what? The Apolis can be upgraded. 
that's kind of cool, but I don't want it. <clears throat> what I want. No, I don't want those steering circle things. Uh, let's see, get eight of those bombs. Get Ten napalm. Those are handy, it's extra missiles. No, we don't let's let's look at a new aircraft. You know what? Let's fly the fake plane. No, wait a minute. Multi-roll. No, let's get a J-37. This is a Swedish aircraft. So what do you come with? Small freefall bomb, air to ship missiles. You know, what, let's take some air to ground missiles. We'll use that little sucker right there. Alright, so. Ground mission. That's an air to air. Let's not worry about that. Let's let's cut off their offensive line because we you see here's the thing about this battle plan. Yes, these guys in the middle, they are cut off in their allied forces. The problem is they're gonna have to hold their own. Because if we ignore the forces in Kings Hill, they can take Port Patterson, swing around, come up behind us while we're uh, try, you know, even if we liberate these forces, and then when we go to Santa Lua or wherever it is, they'll just come up behind us. So my theory is, take out the the, the main tank force here. That that cuts off their their head. Those these guys over here are about to hold their own against the ground forces because if this thing freaking shows up on them. They're completely dead. What we can do is we knock out this and this, and that frees them up because our ground forces are going to be heading that direction anyways. So, let's do this one. Let's go to Kingston. We're going to use our new play. ASAP's Miller unit is meeting up at Kings Hill. Based on the sheer strength of the enemy force, an offensive aimed at retaking Port Patterson appears imminent. A partially completed highway runs directly from Kings Hill straight into the heart of Port Patterson. The enemy intends to use this highway to swiftly spearhead its way through our defenses. Their ground forces must be destroyed if Port Patterson is to remain ours. Our soldiers are in a precarious position. If they are attacked now, they will have no choice but to abandon the port. One more thing. On the highway leading to Port Patterson, there is a tunnel. If an enemy tank makes it to the tunnel, it will be beyond the reach of any air assault. If even one enemy tank enters the tunnel, our mission will fail. Please make sure this doesn't happen. Well, I bombed tanks for living on War Thunder, so this shouldn't be too terrible. Mission stopped. Uh, Falcon, or Phantom, you're, you're retired. Oh, this thing's a lot more mobile and stable. Oh, heck yeah. We're taking the air to surface missiles. If this is a Swedish plane, it's probably got those uh, French anti ship missiles that they have. They're freaking dumb. The enemy is using a partially built highway to cover their movement. The location is well concealed, making it impossible to identify from the air. Wait for enemy vehicles to leave the rendezvous point, then strike.
But we'll stick with the third person here for the self vehicles. God, I keep wanting to look around the aircraft. Can't. Rocket launcher. Much more nimble. I'm wasting the uh, munitions. Alright, we're not fighting any jets. We're just going to keep staying on top of this stuff. I still use the lock on camera, which is nice. I mean, this plane is so much more maneuverable than that other piece of junk I had. Well, the Phantom's not junk, it's just this thing just handles like a dream. Dang it. It's like I'm going to fight. Who would F1 is Japanese F4 Phantom? Got something kind of like that in War Thunder right now. They got the uh, TU2, T2 Mitsubishi. It's like a licensed version of the F4 Phantom. PSP game. I'm playing a, basically Ace Combat 4 on the PSP. Actually, this is more like Ace Combat 5. Really. So, that's pretty close to Ace Combat 5. Thank you. 
That thing machine gun to me. Uh huh. That bird. Targets get two of these long range missiles. A special vehicle. Hold up. It's these. It has a star on it. Let's kill it. We got time. We got time. Find a missile just to make sure. What are you doing? Huh? We've succeeded in preventing the Miller unit from invading Port Patterson. LASAP forces are in retreat. Let's hope they've learned their lesson and think twice before trying to take Port Patterson again. A new aircraft is available for purchase. New parts are available for purchase. But to save the game. Be good, Speedy Cat. Oi, be good. Oh, behave. Blip. You just got a hose, boy. All right, what do we got? Probably A10 ward harvest and crap in here. No, F16. Air to air. This plane's more mobile. I'm keeping this. Some new parts. Positioned above Terminus Island. <clears throat> it is using the island as a resupply base and as a staging point for long range attacks on Stand Canyon. The troops stranded at Stand Canyon are vital to the upcoming assault on Santa Elva. But they're pinned down as long as the Gleipnir's assault is allowed to continue. Something must be done about the situation and soon. Analysis of the SWBM attack at Cape Aubrey has shown that the shock wave of the missile dissipates before reaching ground level. Hoping to utilize this weakness, 
The remaining Aurelian fleet has gathered for a counter-assault on the airborne fortress. We have been informed that the assault will begin as soon as we are ready. How shall we proceed, sir? So, we're gonna go, they're gonna dive every time I get to that crap, so. <clears throat> Alright, what plane do I wanna take? It's just better all around, we're taking this one. And we're gonna use our missile. Oops. Put it by the missiles. Hanger. We can at least buy these missiles. Okay, so we got everything unlocked on that plane. Okay, start. There we go. Well, he's got some long range missiles that we can kind of sling out there if we need to. Cool. Fleet to third fleet. Any sign of the fleet near? Third fleet. No sign of it yet. Understood. Continue your patrol of the area. What's that sound? Look! It's the fleet near! Son of a! Light it up, boys! Hit him with the bofers! Got like a shockwave cannon. Just disintegrated. What the hell was that? Second fleet, do you read me? This is the first fleet. Come in. Come in. The plane's a douchebag. All of those ships destroyed in the instant. The destructive power. I can't believe they've made such a terrifying weapon. Third, uh, I mean, Griffith one. It appears the enemy has some kind of new super weapon. If they destroy the rest of our fleet, we'll no longer be able to sustain our military. The NPC will display damage to the Allied fleet. Protect them and keep the gauge from reaching back. I know it's a dangerous mission. We're counting on you, sir. These things will freaking nail some if I keep them in that circle. Lighten it up. What do you want to do? The fortress will be out of range once the gauge reaches max. Destroy the SWBM before that happens. I'm not the barrel thing. Okay, you need to break the Busy. Oh. 
I had to do that when I just knocked it off the launcher. So, shot the crap out of that stupid thing. <laughs> We've succeeded in destroying the Gleipnir's SWBM. The surrounding area is no longer in any danger. Unfortunately, the Gleipnir escaped, but this victory has given us hope. I'm starting to feel like retaking Santa Elva is fastly becoming a reality. Right. New aircraft available. New parts are available. New construction options. And let's say on that one. Yeah. The Gleipnir has withdrawn from the combat zone and is now in Santa Elva. Furthermore, with the destruction of the Gleipnir's SWBM, long-range assaults are no longer a threat. Cool. Alright. See what new plane we got. Come on, Tomcat. 
two new ones. Okay, Mirage 2000, that is an excellent aircraft. And it's the D variant. Oh yeah, bye, bye. Just, we're, we're done buying aircraft until Mick shows up. I'm done buying aircraft. I don't got any napalm in that thing. Oh, a guided penetration bomb. Where am I that? And I got the Phoenix missiles up there. I do not need these things. Alright. Oh, we got the baby. We got baby. Ooh, cockpit. What? What? Give me some kind of a freaking nub to need that in this game. All right, guys, that's gonna be all for today. Tune in next time when you can call me Maverick, and I'll see you then. Later. <laughs>